Love, light, and blessings. This is Shamanic Awak Priestess here, and I am back. I am back. I am back. Finally, in front of the camera. So excited. I'm excited about the topic of this video, which is basically I don't want, you know, if you have been following me in this journey, I like to do me. Okay. Uh, for those of you that don't know, and it's your first time here, welcome, okay? I am Shamanic Awak Priestess. I follow the ATR. If you don't know what ATR is, African Traditional Religious Practices, okay? I work with my ancestors, okay? I work with my ancestors, so I have a background in Epiritismo, okay? I also have a background in Haitian Voodoo through my grandfather who originally came from Haiti and migrated to Puerto Rico, Okay? And I also, that's where I get the Piritimo from. <laughs> and also, I have a background in Santeria, okay? AKA Orishas and Haitian Voodoo Loa, all right? So I work with Orishas and Loa, okay? And the topic of this video is going to be, if you are someone who works with Orishas and Loa, and you have been working with them, and you're like, you know... I know ba the basic foundations, you know, I'm someone who's been working with them and my padrino, my madrina, my mentor, whoever it is, or, you know, maybe you read something or whatever it is. Um, I know the basic offerings that they take, but I'm like trying to jazz it up, you know. Um, what kind of things do I give them when they've answered a petition, for example? Um, and I've done the food thing and, you know, I know that, you know, you shouldn't be really keeping food out for a while. So I want to give them something that I can keep on their altar for a while or something like that. This may be the video for you. So basically today's topic is I bought some things at a botanica when I was visiting my mom in New York. You know, she had some medical things that she took care of. She's doing great for all of you that have been praying for her. And so I went to Botanica. I am in no way sponsoring this Botanica, endorsing this Botanica. I go to my local Botanica in Pennsylvania where, I'm, where I live. And if I'm in New York, I happen to go to this one. I do not buy their readings. I do not know if these people are authentic babalao, santeros, or anything like that. So I'm not endorsing their readings. I just literally buy their candles. That's about it. That's the only thing I can advocate for is their candles. I do not do their candle services. I do my own candle services. I'm my own mambo. I do my own thing. Okay, so if you buy their services, if you buy their candles, whatever, and you don't like the way the results are, that is a disclaimer. I am not responsible for that. That is on yourself. I just literally bought the candles. That is about it. And I wanted to offer um, some ideas how you can give offerings to your loa or dishas if that is, or ancestors, if that is something that you, if you practice the ATRs like I do, and you wanted to give something different than the everyday, everyday, okay? Okay, so that is the topic of this video. So, again, I bought some things at the local botanica there, original botanicas. Again, I do not endorse their other services. I just bought some items from them. Um, and I just thought I would share some tips, some quick tips here to see if you're interested. So, if you're interested in that, please watch this video. But before we start this video, I do got to get paid. So, if you are interested, like I said, I I have an epitimo background, Haitian voodoo background. Um, <laughs> as well as a Santeria background, and you're interested in any of these various topics and want a backstage exclusive look at these things, I also practice folk magic. I literally just did a recent book review of how to effectively pray the rosary to manifest or get your petition answered, okay, in a non-Christian aspect, because I do practice folk magic. I have taught classes in folk magic. If you're interested in Odisha origin stories, working with crystals and all these types of different things, um, and getting a more intimate witchy blogs and all those kinds of things, book reviews, stuff like that, um, about more closed traditions and things like that, that I practice and my honest opinions about them, because none of my book reviews are sponsored. I do not get anything free. I have memberships so I can pay for books and do honest reviews. I did not learn from books, but I am open to reading books. For those of you that, you know, you may not have someone that can teach you directly. I can read books and let you know if they're actually um, a good source to learn from. And that way you can save your money and get actually good information um, and good sources and things like that. Um, I do those things and many other different things on the memberships. And you get one card a day and 
uh, monthly readings and bi-weekly readings. Depending on the tier you're in, you get more exclusive content. Um, you can support me by becoming a member. Um, also, I do private readings. I also do rituals, which I've been doing a lot of um, rituals. Um, I've always done rituals um, since I've been a practitioner. Um, I've been doing workings and things for people, and I've been on this path for the last 18 years. Uh, professionally, the last 10 years. Um, but... Um, been on this spiritual path for 18 years on a full-time basis, like really dedicating myself to the spirits. Um, I grew up on this path, you know, I'm going to be 44 years old in, um, in April. So I was, you know, it's something that has always been a part of me. But um, basically, yeah, if you want a ritual, spell work, um, ritual, aka spell work, anything like that, uh, reading or anything like that, shamanicarapriestess.com. The link is in the description box of this video. So with that being said, now, finally, let's get into the point of this video. Okay, so when you work with Orishas and Loas, you know, you can give them flowers, you can give them, you know, they have so many different um, types of offerings depending on the uh, specific uh, spirit. You know, there's, in, in, in the case of the Loa, there's a hundred and something, so I'm not going to get into all of that. I have classes and things for that, uh, you know, <laughs> so we're, you know, we're not going to do all of that. We'll be here like for 50 years, but um, if you know, you know. Uh, but sometimes, you know, it could get very redundant, you know, like, yes, you know, you give an egg to Dambala, you know, and you give, you know, this specific champagne to this spirit. Or in the case of the, you know, Orishas, there's 400 and something and counting Orishas and, you know, the same five offerings. And especially with food, if you're someone who is very busy um, and you're like, you know, I can only keep food or water, I have to keep constantly refreshing and things like that. And it's really hard for me to maintain an altar. A good alternative to that is literally buying something called a fixed candle. So some people will buy these for like spells. I like to do my own. So for me, okay, I'll just buy a plain color candle or I'll buy a candle that's not prepared that has like a picture. So let's, um, let's say... I'll go to a botanica and let's say this, this will be sold as like a protection candle or whatever, right? And they'll have a picture of like a devil be gone. I'll be like, oh, it's a red candle. So I will print out an image of a devil be gone candle. You can save money that way. If, if money is a budget is a thing. And I'll just stick it on there with some glue and I'll have the same image for cheaper, right? Or you can even go to your local Dollar Tree. Uh -huh. Stick that image in there, set the intentions, put the herbs, whatever, whatever herbs are good for like taking away, whatever, set your intentions, whatever the case may be. Or um, I don't like to buy specific spirit candles, um, like if it's a saint candle, whatever, I am very picky about that. Like um, I'll just buy the color that represents that specific saint and just make the labels and stuff myself. That's what I do. Or I'll just light it plain like this. You can, that's up to you. I just don't like doing that for specific reasons. Um, and I will buy conditioned candles, but in this sense, I'm giving these to specific spirits. So I didn't want any image on my candles. I'm actually going to customize these candles myself. And when you customize candles yourself for a spirit, that in itself is an offering because when you put the herbs into a candle when you create an image, especially for those of you that are artistic, when you draw a veve onto this, when you put the glitter, when you do all that stuff and you yourself customize a candle, that in itself is an offering to a spirit. And they do that a lot in Haiti. Like you'll see the most beautiful like silk cloths and it won't even be people that have the most money in the world. And what's nice about it is um, you can reuse these glasses. If it's an offertory candle, it's not like it's a working, like it's not a spell. So you can just continue to buy this, the wax and keep refilling this candle. And this is just an altar candle. This is the candle that you're going to light every time you invoke a spirit. It's nice because it's eco-friendly where you're not continuously putting this into a landfill because you're just going to keep refilling it. And what's nice about it is this candle is going to have the essence of the spirit. Every time 
you light this candle, the spirit already knows this is their assigned candle. This candle is going to have the ashe, the essence of that spirit, you know, because you can literally buy, you can order like um, wax from like Amazon and you could literally <clears throat> pour the wax in there. You can get like the wicks that come with the little sticky on it and you could pour the wax in there. You can add the herbs. You can say incantations, prayers. You you know what I'm saying? You can you can um you can scratch like their veve into like the candle itself, and you have your own very own customized candle for your specific spirit. And again, that in itself is an offering. You can buy you know oils and and things like that. You can put their specific herbs that you know that the spirit is known for. And you can, every time you invoke that spirit, you light their candle, you know, and that's an offering that never goes bad, you know, and things like that. And again, you can, and you can put their veve, you know what I'm saying? You can put their veve you, and you can like draw it and then like with glue, with those Dollar Tree glitter glue, which is what I'm going to do with these. And there you go. You have a beautiful custom candle for them. So once this burns down, I'm going to do that. Okay, then you have the beautiful rainbow ones, which I like to use to represent the seven African powers. Um, okay, these are good for also the siete machos um, to represent the seven Indio tribes, the seven aspects of La Madama. For those of you that are devotees of La Santissima Muerte, they work with all different aspects of her or any of those types of... Um, very like uh ancient spirits um this is a very good one to, uh, if you work with not magic or seven wishes or things like that this is a very good one because they have like the not candles but this one is nice because it's encased in glass and it's safe uh if those of you that like to do chakra work or things like that i have um a quick little announcement here um so i was talking earlier about the fact that um, I'm going to be retiring the hoodoo classes and I'm going to be retiring the, um, Madama classes. And the reason why I'm going to be retiring those is because, um, when I was taking a spiritual bath for recently, my spirit guide had this really great idea and they were like, you need to talk about La Siete Potencia Africana, translated into English. You need to talk about the seven African powers, okay? So if you are interested in the seven African powers and learning about the seven African powers, I got you, boo. We're going to be talking about the seven African powers. So if you are interested in that, I will be teaching you about the seven African powers. There is an upcoming class that I will be doing this spring. So it'll be after the Hulu classes I will be doing. So there will be more about that. How long the classes are going to be? I don't know. But yes, I will be doing a class on the Siete Potencia Africana. If you want to work with them, um, anyone can work with them. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to take out my middle finger. That's so rude. Um, anyone can work with them. It, it's kind of like the whole Madama thing. Like, if they choose to work with you, like, anyone can work with them. If they so choose to work with you, they choose to work with you. They are so potent. It is more than what you think it is. It ha it's so much more than just an Odisha thing. Like, there's a, the Seven African Powers is a whole mysterio in itself. Um there's certain re requisites to work with them. It's a whole thing. Um, it's kind of like a closed folk thing. It's a whole thing in itself. So um, if you are interested in that, please subscribe if you're your first time watching this video. Um, if you're already a subscriber, pay attention. I'm going to make a separate video in the next upcoming week. So February 2023, I'm going to be announcing more about it. Um, but yes, there is an upcoming seven African powers class that I'm going to be doing. It is going to be up in my website. It's not going to be posted right now because I have to make the classes. I've already been scripting it. Um, and yes, so you have to have access to Skype 
So make sure you download that. This is not going to be over the phone class. This is not going to be study on your own. This is an interactive class. So make sure that you have at least those requisites for this class. So it's the seven African powers. Another class that I'm going to be doing as well is for those of you that are interested, okay, um, there is another form of voodoo, okay, that I am comfortable mentoring people in, um, and that is um, that I do have <laughs> experience in, um, and that is 21 Division. So if 21 Divisions is something that you are interested in, La um, 21 Divisione, okay, 21 Divisions, uh, I am going to be doing a class in that as well. That is Dominican Voodoo, okay? Santo Domingo, Haiti, they're right next door neighbors, okay? I have had a lot of the Dominican influences in my life. So if you are interested in 21 Divisions, uh, let me know because I will be doing a mentorship in that as well. Okay, guys, so that is it for the announcements. It reminded me because of the candle, okay? So same thing with the white candle that I showed you. You can, you know, customize this. Um, and again, always have white candles because they're very good for any spirits, okay? If all you can afford is to buy a white candle, you can do any type of work. Anytime I look at a white candle, I always remember that story of one of my Haitian friends who got so upset because she couldn't find black candles and we can't do the ceremony we can't do the the ritual we can't do the 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 voodoo ritual blah 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 and i'm like baby girl baby girl yes you can because at the end of the date <laughs> because at the end of the day my love you can't do the ritual okay because at the end of the day it's not about the candle color okay the main colors I grew up with was always white, red, and blue. Those are the ones my mama always uses. I use a bunch of other ones, but my mama like mostly red, white, and blue, and mostly white all the time. You can do anything with a white candle. And because it's the herbs, right? It's it's like there's spirits that live in herbs, and it's about building your relationships with the herbs and knowing how to invoke the spirits in the herbs. It's what makes the spirits... It's what makes the, the working or the rituals work, right? It's helping that life spirit, invoking them and making them come alive and then activating that spell or that ritual. It's what's because it, this is just wax and glass, right? It's activating the energy. It's manipulating energy. So a white candle is going to work just as effectively as anything else, right? So yeah, so, every, so always, you know, for those beginners out there, if you can afford anything else, white candle is good. Um... Okay, so an offering, you can customize a candle, any color, get the herbs, you know, get your little papers, customize their bebe sigils, whatever the case may be, their pictures, images, things like that. Um, also, you can go to your local botanica and you could buy something called a fixed candle, right, where they make it for you. And you could give them things like this. This is good for those asthmatics out there, uh, those of you. So a lot of times you can you can smoke for a spirit. There are certain spirits like Elegua, Elegba, they're two different spirits. You can give them, you know, cigar offerings, things like that. But what if, like myself, sometimes I have asthma, health issues, whatever. You can light them, you know, tobacco, or you can buy them a tobacco candle. These are also good for Indio spirits that you will give them tobacco offerings. The, you can give this to a Madama spirit, anything like that. Okay, so these are fixed candles, and they have, like, tobacco oils and everything else, you know, and they smell so good, and you can light this for them. You can walk away from it, close the door, you know, light it up, you know, make sure, you know, put it in, like, a fill up like a metal container, put some water if you want to in it, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's fireproof and safe. Light it up for like a good 10 minutes. That gives them the little tobacco offering. Open the window, you know, and they got their little tobacco offering and then walk back into the room and we all good and you didn't compromise your lungs, you know? So this is a good, or you could just, if you don't, it's not a breathing problem and you're just giving them something different 
and this is something you can keep on their altar permanently. It's also a good way to say thank you because, you know, it's not always about asking or only giving them things when you want something in exchange. You should make it a habit when the spirits do something for you that you make it a habit of giving them things just for the sake of saying thank you. Um, so these are good for any spirits that take tobacco, especially the indigenous spirits, okay? So you can give them a tobacco, um, you know, you can give them a tobacco offering, a fixed tobacco candle. Also, a good one is um, a co coconut candle, okay? Any road opener spirit is good. This is good for this as well. Um, you can do that. Or any spirit that takes cocoa offering. You know, legwa, legba. You know, you have um, Congo spirits work a lot with cocoa. Um, you have um, any cemetery spirits work good with cocoa. Most ATR spirits work with cocoa, especially like your more pickier spirits, your dambalas, your um, obatala, you know, those spirits that take those white offerings. This is a good offering for shango, you know, other than the same thing that, you know, he always takes, you know, and they're fixed, they're beautiful. It smells like coconut. And this is nice, you know, not always, you know, you can put that in his altar and you can light it for him as an offering, as a thank you, you know, and it's a nice, you know, thing that you could put on his altar. Um, and then also, you know, if you want to honor your ancestors, you know, um, on top of, you know, just this thank you, you know, Congo for the Congo spirits, you know, things like that. This is a nice for, you know, your Madama or something like that, you know, your Indio spirits, you know, any nature spirits. So those are just, you know, some good alternatives for your spirits, okay? All right. Um, other things that you can offer your spirits. Okay, what if you're someone that has to or is not able to practice your spirituality openly okay something that i used to do is i would work with li little boxes like this i had a closet not this particular there's a tarot deck in here but i'm saying like just imagination time i would have a closet like without the this i had a hallway closet years ago and I had a lock in it and it was literally a story. So my ex at the time never thought anything of it. There would be like old coats and like seasonal clothes in it. But on the top shelf, which my mom and I ended up emptying it out and having candles there. Um, I would have a box, not this box, but like a bigger box with a lock box in it. And I would keep prayer cards. I'm going to pause the video and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so for those of you that live with other people and you're like, I want to practice spirituality, but like, I don't know why I'm whispering, like, okay. Um, but I don't know what to do. You can get a binder like this from the dollar store. Okay. Get you some, um, birthday candles. Okay. And you could keep it in a little pouch or different colors because some of them come with like different colors. Let me show you real quick. Okay. Look at this. Okay. All different colors. Oh, fell out the thing. Okay. You have all different colors. Dollar Tree, honey. Or any local supermarket. All right. Photo album, Adzala. And then you can order Amazon sell Saint cards too. Or you can go to your local Catholic store. You can go to Botanica sell prayer cards. You do what you got to do. And you get your, you, you research. Which law orishas are synchronized with which saint? Put them in a little album. Okay, that's what I did. And, all right, you light your candle, right? When nobody's home, all righty then. Okay, when nobody's home. That's what I used to do when nobody was home, okay? Or, for those of you that can't do that, if you're a person, purse, book bag, you just, what you doing? I'm just going on a nature walk, my backpack, you know what I'm saying? Um, so You can get scented matches. They have like lavender matches, whatever. If you can't light a match, that's okay. You can just get your prayer cards. Touch it. It's about intentions. Pray over it in your mind. Do what you got to do. Okay, find like somewhere desolate under a tree, you know. 
Legwa get the essence of the tree like in Haiti and stuff we have certain trees that are designated to Legwa okay Legwa in Africa the Yoruba people same thing okay this fits right in a little traveling altar okay and pray you could do a little workies there, okay? You can get tea lights instead of birthday candles. Nice thing about tea lights, they come with their own metal thing. You could light it for a few minutes. You do not have to burn the whole thing down. And you just meditate for a few minutes somewhere in, in public. And that's it. You have a you have an altar. Okay? That's it. That's it. Bada bing, a bada boom. That's my tip to you. If you are someone who cannot practice openly, okay? I had to do it like that, and I was in a domestic violence situation where if the person found out physical harm could come to my person. But I found a way, you know, I would, I'll be scared. A few minutes, boom, boom, boom. That's how I started out, and now I have a whole spirit room, and I have a whole, like, a, a whole dedicated store for them on the third floor of this house. So, like, you, you faithful to your spirits, and you give them what you can, like, they give you what they, they, they bless you. So, just always know that. The spirits are beautiful. Okay. The reason why I share that story is because I know there's people that watch me out there that they cannot. Um, they don't have the luxury of having a spirit room or altar in their bedroom. So this is a video about tips. And that's my tip. Like, get you a wooden box. You can get it at Walmart. You can order from Amazon. Um, if you live in a space where you have no nothing, get yourself a semi-permanent altar. And you can switch out the cards, you know. And the spirits are okay with that. Um, your offering could literally be, you know, a tea light with scent. So if you, let's say, you know, Shango, Santa Barbara, you can, um, he likes pumpkin. You can get like, you go to your local Dollar Tree and you get a scented, you know, pumpkin candle. You can do that. Okay. So there's ways you can work around limited accessibility to things. Okay. Um, you can, <clears throat> you can donate. Okay, you can donate. When also when I um was limited, I would go to, through my godfather and I'll I'll know like it's his feast day and I'll be like Padrino, you know, I, I know you guys are gonna have a feast day for him. Here's you know, this is all I have. Here's like twenty dollars, here's fifteen dollars. Um that's why I do that in memberships with people. I'll be like, Hey, if you wanna donate to the feast days, because I'm aware that some people cannot set up ritual for the spirits. And I'll ask the spirits to bless that person, you know, because that's what my godfather used to do. That's that's traditional, you know, so and the spirits see that. So just letting you know. Talking about 21 divisions. So I have and I think in my last call video, I showed this the seven African powers poster that I got because I work with that aspect um, a lot in my my practice. And it is part of the decor. And I pray a lot to that image. I also pray a lot to tw the 21 divisions or the Loa, um, you know, the, the División de los Africanos, the Negro División, the División de los Indios, la División de, 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 la, um, de los Dioses, la División de los Blancos, and all the other stuff. So the Rada Division, I pray to the Congo Spirits, I pray to the Rada, um, Petro, all those things. So I have... Um, that poster, which I'm going to be hanging up in the side of my, um, spirit room where I host the, um, Aloha. And these are the different saints that they're synchronized with. So Dominican voodoo is a little different than Haitian voodoo, um, and things like that. So there is a difference here. Um, but yeah, so just FYI. Just like New Orleans voodoo is different than Haitian voodoo. They all have their different, um, the prayer is in Spanish here because there is a specific prayer when you work with the, that aspect and everything. So I got this. I've been wanting to get this image. It's hard to come by. So I'm really, really excited to have finally gotten my hands on that. So I'm going to be hanging that up in my spirit room with the spirits and... Um, I also got, um, that's also a good offering, you know, um, there's a reason why I'm showing you that, 
um, you know, hanging up. So it's also a way to save money. So let's say you're working with the Loa, right? And you're like, I, those are so many statues. Um, you can get, so if you're someone who's interested in 21 divisions, um, working with different Loa, you can buy this and you're going to get your basic imagery, right? And you can have a main table where you will give offerings to these various loa. And then in time, you know, as you start building relationships and stuff, you can start getting like individual statues and all that stuff. Okay, so it's a good way to like build up to. Um, I have their statues and stuff. And not, like if people see my room, like there's a bunch of stuff there. But I wanted the image because they have like their own sides. Like I have... My Congo, my my Madamas, uh, my Congo spirits, my División de los Negros, the Africano, you know, the African, the Black spirits, the you know, uh, one. I have my Rada spirits, the Petro spirits. I have, you know, those Loas in the different divisions. I have, you know, my Orishas on and, and Road Open. Like, they all have their sections and stuff, but I, I still want the imageries hung around um, and things like that. And then these I'm going to frame. And this is like a, a tribute to, you know, the women, my African ancestors that came um, before me. I did not get this from a botanica. This I got from Amazon. And I just thought they're just beautiful. Um, they're like cloth. But I'm going to frame these and hang them um, around where I keep like my Congo spirits. And this is just a tribute to the motherland um, because, you know, our history, you know, did not just um, begin in the diaspora. You know, I know that we have a beautiful and, you know, powerful lineage that predates, you know, the Americas. And I want to have these powerful images in my spirit room to draw from as well. Um, I love, and I have had a lot of healing with uh, the imagery of La Madama. You know, when I was younger, I didn't understand it because in America, they make us, and I have a video that's gonna go really deep into that topic of um, how I worked with the image of La Madama. Um, my mother finally was able to help me translate La Madama into English. So Big Mama, the image of Big Mama, um, and how to work with that um, imagery and things like that. And, you know, how people have been trying to erase her and the erasure of her and how that is a disservice to us um, as, you know, black women. And, um, you know, because she is part of our history and she's powerful woman in her own right and um we love her you know so um yeah so you know and things like that um so yeah so i'm really really excited for that video um we're gonna deep dive into that we have two paranormal videos coming so february is gonna be just a deep dive into the beautiful uh history and learning of, of just beautiful content of the ATR and, and how beautiful um, that is and um, things like that. Just really celebrating black excellence um, and things like that. And I'm really, really excited. Um, also really excited about finally reaching 8,000. Um, I had really bad health things going on and I wasn't really able to celebrate that milestone like I wanted to um I have I wasn't able to celebrate that milestone like I wanted to like I said before um because of some personal health things um which I, again I don't want to really get into on this video um and it was very disheartening um but I am going to do a giveaway nonetheless and I'm very grateful to you guys for that um and the giveaway is going to be given to the people that actually watch my videos. Okay. And I'm going to know that because with every upcoming video until the end of February, because this the winner is going to be announced, 
at the end of February. Okay, on the very last day of February, I'm going to announce the giveaway winner. Okay, okay, I'm excited. What I wanted to show you is in here. This is from a, okay, so this is from Amazon. This I got from Amazon. If I could find the listing, I'll try to link it. I don't know how to do that, but I'll try to link that if you guys are interested in this tapestry. It all came under one thing, and it was very reasonably priced. And this is from a small business. I love it. I am determined. I am determined, worthy, blessed, a force to be reckoned with, kind, fearless, creative, destined for greatness, my ancestors' wildest dreams. Okay, hello. So I love that. And I'm either going to be hanging this in my reading space where I do tarot readings or in my spirit room as a tribute to all the women that came before me. I'm going to be blessing all these things. So yeah, I want to further continue to um, do the spirit room. Um, I'm going to be framing that as well. And then last but not least, um, I wanted to show you this. So, and this is a witchy tip. I like to keep two things on my tarot decks, my reading decks. Well, three crystals. And that's tourmaline because it's a psychic, psychic protector. Amethyst. Okay, because I just feel like it enhances the energy. I like to infuse spirits into my ducks, a particular main spirit into my ducks. And there's like two other ones as well. And then selenite because it's, it, it recharges and recleanses things. And it is an amplifier. And this protects from negative energies. So I um, use six main working ducks. So I got tourmaline. From this shop that is ethically sourced, it's called Dancing Bear, and, and they sell through Amazon. And their crystal, uh, they uh, ethically source crystals, um, and I've bought crystals for them before, so I wanted to just, you know, tell you that I bought crystals for them. Um, their uh, mine is in Oregon, and according to them, you know, I'm not sponsoring anything. There's no child labor involved or anything like that, or destruction to the earth. Um... <laughs> And they're a family-owned business. And I bought tourmaline, which I like to put words and stuff around the house. It's good for psychic protection. They ain't the prettiest crystal, but at least I know a two-year-old child was not mining. He was not in the mine somewhere risking their life for me to get some rocks. Because, um, I, you know, I do like to make sure that, you know, there's no child labor in my stuff. Okay, so that concludes the haul for today. Hopefully this helps you. I really do like to um, do that. But getting back to the giveaway, <laughs> sorry, I ADHD. I really do have that. Um, so I'm going to be announcing in every one of my videos, I'll never let you know if it's the beginning, the middle, or the end. You're going to have to watch the video to know. There's going to be a from now on into the ending of February. So the first week of March. There we go. From now into the last week of February. Okay. In the main channel, I'm going to be announcing a secret emoji, okay? The people that want to participate in this giveaway to celebrate the 8,000 subscriber, okay? For those of you that have been doing it in previous videos, you already have been entered in this contest. So the more times you participate, the more times I'm going to put your name in the drawing so you have more chances to win this. Um, basically you're going to put the secret emoji, but you're going to make it where you're not going to be like, Hey, is this correct? Don't give it away because you watched the whole video. Why should you give somebody who didn't even watch the whole video a chance to win? Like, how are you going to cheat yourself out of something that you worked for and they did not come on now. So you're going to like make a normal comment, like great video, cool hat. You know what I mean? So they don't know that's the secret emoji. Make them work for it, dear. You know what I'm saying? Make them work for that prize. Oh, God. Um, so this is going to be real simple today. Your emoji is just going to be a smiley face emoji. Okay. That's it. 
and I'm going to enter you automatically into the drawing. And the prize is going to be, because I never did announce the prize before, okay? The prize is going to be a free reading with moi. You get a one question free reading with me. If you're within the United States, it could be through the phone. If you're an international client, then of course, it could, um, if you're, okay, if you're within the United States, it could be via Skype or phone. If you're outside of the United States, I do not do international calling, but you can still get a reading from me. It would just be via Skype. If you do not want to be on camera, that is perfectly fine. I could still do an audio only reading. It's not an email reading because I do not do email readings even for paying clients. It has to be through Skype. But again, you can have your camera off. You do not have to be on camera. And unlike a lot of readers, I do predictive readings, fortune telling. So you can get a traditional fortune telling rating, past, present, future, prediction, time frames, all the things. You can do third party readings with me. Okay. So hello. You can get a nice little fortune telling reading for moi. So yeah, you get a free one question reading from me. So yes. So you get a free reading from me and I would announce the winner. Um, in March, in the first week of March. So yes, enter to win a free reading. I mean, hello, why would you not want a free reading for more? So you put your little emoji there and get your free reading. And I like the free reading thing because a lot of times when people do giveaways, they get physical objects and then your international subscribers never get free stuff because international shipping is crazy. So I want a giveaway that everybody can participate in. Okay, so thank you so much for being a subscriber. We have reached 8,000. Yes, baby. Woo, 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 woo. And if we reach 10,000, there'll be other giveaways in the future. So, yes, we have two paranormal, two paranormal videos coming up in the future. And we also have upcoming classes coming up. We have a Madama deep dive, getting into it with that. Like, we have so much fun content coming up. Oh, we also have a great diaspora video that I'm going to talk about the over 200 slave revolts that history does not tell you about. Because we did not sit here. We, our ancestors did not say here being enslaved. No, they did not. They do not teach you that in school. And we're going through a very bad political climate where they do not want to teach critical race theory. They are trying to make that political. And when we don't know our own history, that is part of white supremacy. So I'm going to teach that in this channel. We are going to learn our history, okay, so that we can pass that on to our children. Because our ancestors in the United States of America did not just sit back and throw out the diaspora. No, we did not, okay? There is power in our melanin. There is power in our magic. So join me as we celebrate Black Excellence and Black History Month, Black Spirituality, and just all the beautiful stuff of the melanin, okay? Much love, much light, much blessings. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And until the next video, I'm so happy. Also, like this year, we're going to be talking about Afro-Latinos, Afro-Latinidad, our contributions to the history, and all our Black folks in the diaspora, okay, because we are one, honey. We are one, okay? Do not let the supremacists think that we are divided, baby, because they will not conquer us this year. No, they will not. The divide and conquer, uh-uh, not this year, hunty. New year, new life, new air. Do not allow them to divide us, hunty. No, we're not doing that this year, honey. We are not doing that. Mm -mm. The spirits this year, they were like, we do not come to play. We are one, honey. We are one. Whether you're light-skinned, medium complected, or dark-skinned, honey, we are one, okay? And we are beautiful. We are the human race, and we are gorgeous, and the spirits love us. So love you all. So excited about Black History Month. It is like my Christmas. I have so much things I want to do next month. Cannot wait for La Madama class. Cannot wait for the 7 African Powers class. Cannot wait for the 21 Divisions class. So if you are interested in any of these things, any of these content, and if you found today's video about, you know, just making like offerings a little bit more jazzy, please like, please subscribe, share my video, raise the freaking algorithm. YouTube is shadow banning my videos. My views are low, people are low. This is why I have not been making content. Like this channel is dying. Like she's on a respirator. Can we put her back to life? Like she's dying. Okay, bye. I have too much energy, too much coffee. Bye guys. Bye.